pressing, just continually growing, just trying new things. There's a lot of people that say they want to get something done, they want to grow this, they want to be a huge artist and musician or whatever, but they don't do anything. They don't put in the work. They might have done one piece, but you don't put in the work. So if you want to grow something greater than yourself, you have to be consistent. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Old Chingu, which means old friend in Korean. Your boy makes music and art, and I am so happy to be here with you. Today, we're going to talk about how to build a fan base from scratch, from nada, baby. Even if you got a couple fans like your mom, your dad, your brother, this is uh, a, vi a video that's going to really uh, fine-tune your ideas and get you to the next level. So let's get right into it. How do you get your first loyal fans of your music, your art, etc.? Okay, I get this, uh, I, I get asked this a lot, not just musicians, rappers, producers, but also painters, graphic designers, uh, people that want to start their own merch line. Like, what do you, where do you start? You feel me? Um, and that's where I was at uh, almost two years ago. That's when I first started uh, driving my own music and my own, um, just trying to grow a brand. That's, I don't know what to do. A lot of aspiring artists are asking me, you know, how do you do this? How do you do that? What is the most important in terms of growing a brand, in terms of sharing your art to the world? How do you get new fans? Not just numbers, but like real people that rock with your stuff, um, appreciate your art, buy your buy your merch, buy, buy whatever. Um, I'm going to be starting an artist coalition very soon. But in the meantime, uh, if you guys want to know, keep up to date with that, click the link uh, in my description. It's a Facebook. You got to like and follow, click send message, and you're going to go through a cool little survey made to get you into my private group. From there, we can genuinely grow with your artistry, with what you want to learn, um, and not just the quick little repost on SoundCloud Jam that's just fake and doesn't do anything, but a genuine way to grow your artistry, your community, your fan base. All right, so you got no resources, no connections, no money. What do you do? You gotta use your mind, dummy. No, I'm playing. You have to uh, use time. Time is a valuable asset. Time is more important than money in the long run, okay? What's well, super important, step one, is to join a community. Join a community of like-minded people, people that you know uh, are giving you value, rocking with what you have because they got artists in there doing different things like yourself. But guess what? Not the first, the first thing you do is not say, hey yo, my name is this. Here's my SoundCloud link. Drop a like. What? Bro, okay, do not spam. Do not spam. What you have to do first is give value. What you have to do first is be family in this community, especially in this time of quarantine on our computers, on our phones, much more than we were before because this is like our main source of communication with our friends and family. So use this time accordingly. You can either use this time to sulk, you know, just drown in your couch, or you can use this time to thrive. I don't know, your choice, but here are some uh, Reddit communities that I personally recommend, r slash hip hop heads. You're gonna find a lot of hip hop, um, culture, music, news in there, but you can also put your own music, but that is recommended after you post about, it's gotta be 90% other content, other cultivating things, giving value. Again, you have to give things that you learned, that you felt like was dope, and then you can put in your, your piece, your own thing that you make. But it's all about giving value, being genuine in that family, that community. Um, r slash listen to this. Really dope. Uh, find a lot of low-key aspiring artists like your boy. Um, but, you know, Tyler posted uh, one of his videos there and it, it blew up, you know. And there's a certain way to do it. Certain um, thing that you need to look out for when you are posting. But we'll make another more in-depth video about that on Reddit posting. But those are some communities that I urge you, that I encourage you to join right now. R slash EDM production. Same deal, learning how to produce EDM. R slash trap production, how to produce trap. Those things that you'll see uh, Tyler's tutorials on, different things on how to produce trap, produce music or whatever. So get into those communities, become a family, give value before you even think of posting your own thing, but actually learn from these people. You'll probably meet a lot of like-minded people and um, you'll, you'll just make a bunch of 
new friends. So there's so many pluses. All right, so follow artists you love, style, brand, um, people that you would love to tour with, okay? So those people that you have in your mind, who you would want to tour with, who you absolutely love and admire and respect, follow those people on social media. And now it's not just about you're learning so much from them, um, you're learning their style and their values and like what you can implement, but support them in the way that you would want to be supported. So what does that mean? Like commenting, engaging on their posts, sharing their music, sharing their art, um, and commenting genuine things, not just fire emoji, but like really getting in there and be like, yo, I really rock with this. Um, thank you for this genuine content, whatever. That's really going to put in perspective as you as the fan and then connecting with your fans as the artist because they're doing that with you. Got to put out uh, what you want in return, baby. All right. So establish value. Do not spam. No one wants to. Would you go to someone you just meet and say, you know, hey, support my cause, fam. You got to do it. You got to do it. You got to do it. That's not real. It's not genuine. Um, like Club Rush. Okay, if you've been to college, uh, there's a bunch of tables, a lot of people promoting their clubs. You will be handed 17 flyers talking about um, get credits of this, talking about you'll get friends with that. And here's a, a, a water bottle that's going to be uh, useless in, in a couple weeks. You know, they, they try to do all these things to get you in here. But then you see a small little table with like you know, not too many things, just a clipboard and, and like a picture of, of like their five groups in the member, uh, in, in the, yeah, five members in the group. <laughs> and they tell you the facts, they tell you honestly who we are, what we do and what we stand for. And they say, no, you won't get any credits. No, you won't get no fancy water bottle, but we do care about you. We'd love to connect with you, put your email down. And <laughs> You're gonna feel mad connected. You're gonna feel mad loved because this this person, this group was genuine with you and not spamming a link. And later along the way, maybe he makes some dope music and then sends you a link and you actually like wanna listen to it. <laughs> uh, anyways, step two. This is a really important key, bro. This is so important, but people don't care. Be consistent. Be consistent. Own your niche, okay? What I personally do, right, is I tried new things. I didn't know what was gonna work, but I tried and I tried and I tried and now I found fine tuned it to a place where like, I know this is gonna work and I know this is not gonna work, but I'm still gonna try new things. I'm always gonna try new things. That's what's up. So like be consistent and it sounds so general, it sounds so drawn out, but really let me tell you specifically, all right? I posted, I posted every single day on Instagram when I first started out with my first song. I posted a song every week in the very beginning and I'm picking that up again, but I did that in the beginning so hard and consistently every single day I'm posting. I'm posting in communities. I'm talking to new people. New fans are being, are being grown from my garden of creativity. You know, it didn't start with me having thousands of followers. It started with me having like 50 followers. You know what I mean? Pressing, just continually growing, just trying new things. There's a lot of people that say they want to get something done. They want to grow this. They want to be a huge artist and musician or whatever, but they don't do anything. They don't put in the work. They might've done one piece, but you don't put in the work. So if you want to grow something greater than yourself, you have to be consistent. Me and Tyler, my bandmate, my artist friend, producer, he uh, and I have decided to post a video every single day to YouTube. That's not something that I'm telling you you should do but it's such a incredible feeling accomplishing something that you set out to do, something of consistency. And it sounds super sick when I'm just like, yeah, we post a video every day. That's a flex, you know what I mean? But be consistent. That's what makes, that's what's gonna make your brand stand out. That's how you're gonna own your niche and that's how you're never going to be forgotten by your fans. Whoo! Number three, write down your goals. Speak it into existence. Manifest what you are saying. And this is no uh, hippity hop, Jumbo slip slot. This is real value, man. Focus on your overarching goal, okay? Write it down. Earl Nightingale type beat. I'm gonna put that link down in the description because I believe in it so strongly. Um, but your mind is so powerful. You have to write down your goals, your overarching goal for the long term. But then, you know, by doing that, you're going to figure out what you're gonna do through the day. What are you going to accomplish that day so you can get to that goal? Um, you're gonna be so focused and you're not gonna be worried about how you're gonna get there. You just know that you're gonna get there. And so like, 
if your overarching goal is to tour the world nationally in a couple years, then today you may release two pieces of content, post on three different social medias, you may connect with 10 new fans, you're gonna do things differently. So I urge you to write down your goals. Um, journal, I urge you to journal, you know, I, I encourage you to get you a, a, a cute little journal like this one from a Korean uh, grocery store. Um, <laughs> it don't matter, just any journal, but, but just writing. And even if you don't do, do it every day, you're gonna have it in your mind that you wrote this goal, this thing of importance that you wanna grow your value. Uh, so much so even when you're feeling down or you are feeling like you're not worth anything or you feel you know sad or like not motivated you're gonna be driven to do what you set out to do because you have this goal and you're visualizing it so important man we'll, we'll dive into that more but uh these are some important tips on how to grow a fan base from zero from scratch and I'll go more in depth with these videos if you guys liked it. Um, definitely drop a comment with what you would like to see more of, and I'll definitely make more videos of that nature. But in-depth tutorials, my personal blueprint, um, Tyler's producing, we just wanna grow as artists and we wanna give you value, because it gives us value. So yeah, man, follow me on my socials, subscribe, um, because at the end of the day, me and my brother Tyler, we are posting a video every single day on YouTube. So turn on all notification bell and you will be updated with that. You will gain value as an artist. You'll build dedicated fans. You'll see a lot of funny content. You'll, you'll listen to dope, unique music. So yeah, this is a valuable channel for you and for us. So thank you so much for growing and learning uh, more about how to grow your artistry and taking it seriously and um, growing so much that, yeah, dude, I, I had no idea I would be at this place two years ago when I started. Um, so it's just a blessing, man. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, implement these tips to your artistry, your brand, whatever you are doing. And uh, I pray that you are creative and you are refreshed during this quarantine time and you thrive. So yeah, man, this has been Old Chingu. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow. Peace. Was that was that a sick trans? Peace. <laughs>